Yeah. I've, one of the things I want to ask you about, obviously, you're probably going to hate to talk about it, but the, the McCarthy oh, yeah. thing with, with – I know that you were on record not really for the ousting originally and, and the whole vote. And it, it's – it seems like it probably wasn't the best move, just objectively. Can, can we talk about that? Where we Absolutely. Are now? I'm glad to talk about it. Okay. I, I'm glad that people are starting to see that it really isn't turning out as yeah. it was promised. Uh-uh. Well, so I think people have to understand that. So in our conference, in our Republican conference, and we have a majority of 222, and we're down now. Yeah. Uh-huh. We're right. going down practically by the week. Yeah. Um, Which is scary. We, and, and you have to have 218 for majority. That's the majority. We barely had it together from the beginning. Mm -hmm. And to Kevin McCarthy's credit, he was the only one that had relationships with everybody in the conference that he was able to get everybody together. And we functioned. We didn't function well, but we functioned and we were able to move forward. And so I come from a business background Mm -hmm. where, you know what, we got a job to do for our customer. We got to all get together no matter what, we got to figure this out and we got to get the job done. So that's my mindset. Mm -hmm. He was the only person that wanted to be speaker. He was the only person that was running. And I think that got proven to the American people in that 15 rounds when nobody else wanted to run. Yeah, Nobody else could get elected. And our GOP conference is not red. It is purple. It's Mm -hmm. like a purple state. Mm -hmm. And so people... On the outside, and of course, you you don't know. You can't know because yeah. you're not in there. Right. Mm-hmm. I wish people were in there. I would take the American people to work with me every day if I could. Yeah. Because I, I want them to see all the crazy stuff. They need stuff. to see it. They yeah. need to see it. And so um, there were eight Republicans, some of them my very dear friends, ousted Kevin McCarthy, and we have been, excuse my language, a shit show ever since because we didn't have, we don't have anybody that keeps everybody together now. Johnson doesn't. Do that. Mike Johnson is a nice man, and I say that in all sincerity. He's a nice man. He's a Christian, but he has never been prepared to be speaker. Yeah. And I think that's showing. And he's got good intentions. Mm-hmm. I think he's trying, but he's it's it's not working. Because they were gonna It's not working. The well, tapes, they have that has good. to be like a diplomat position, doesn't it? It's you're never we're never gonna have you're not gonna have someone like me be speaker of the house. Right. You're just not. Because you, it's an election that happens inside the conference, and you got people in there that are practically Democrats voting. Yeah, Jim Jordan, I thought would have would have could thought, never get the votes. Yeah, and I think that was heartbreaking because oh, you know yeah. he's like such him. a truth teller. Yeah, I, I was. Like him. I supported him. He would have been great, but then you know they wouldn't elect him. Um. So now we're a mess. We really are a mess. We're very divided. Uh, everybody argues all the time. And the way I see it, I see that as, see, I look at the American people as our customer and I see that as a failure. It's a failure because a lot of Republicans voted for us and gave us the majority. And a lot of people donated money and gave us the majority. And we have a job to do. And our job is to get our shit together and do our job for the American people. Mm -hmm. And we need to do better. Like the NDAA, the defense bill, I am disgusted with it. And that didn't happen under McCarthy. That happened under Mike Johnson. I know. I mean, what happens to them? What happens to that they just give in? They negotiate. Yeah. And and he should have never done it. And he keeps telling us. But but he knew everyone was going to get mad if he totally collapsed. So he totally yeah. collapses. Mm-hmm. What what kind of character flaw or outside pressure happens to somebody to make that happen every time? It's the lies in Washington. So if you're Speaker of the House, Roseanne, mm-hmm. you are swarmed by all the people in Washington. Mm-hmm. I mean, you never get five minutes to yourself. Yeah. You've got the White House calling you. You've got the State Department calling you. You've got every member of Congress calling you, Democrats and Republicans. Everybody is all over the Speaker. And so they fill, the, they fill them with all their talking points. Uh-huh. You've got the military industrial complex talking points. Oh, we've got to we've got to fund the war oh we got to stop mm-hmm. putin he's going to take over europe total lie mm-hmm. then you have um you have to pass the defense bill how we got to fund the military you have to that's your job as speaker of the house you have to fund the military you're just going to have to negotiate with chuck schumer and accept things in there and it's just non-stop pressure that's what happened with the fisa thing 
Mr. Mr. Speaker, you've got to do reauthorized FISA. What if wet terrorist attack happens on on our country soil? You can't let that happen, Mr. Speaker. Mm-hmm. So that is the intense pressure that mm-hmm. has been thrown on him. And I'll just say it's uh, I don't I don't think he's ready for it. Yeah. yeah. And our 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 bill, our defense bill, so I'll give Kevin McCarthy credit cuz not many people do. Our defense bill we pass under him before this final version gave the milit- the junior military troops a 30% pay increase. Let me tell you how important that is. It's really important. Those guys make $22,000 a year. Good god. That's $1,875 a month. That's for rankings E1 through E6. That happened under Kevin McCarthy. The final version that was negotiated, totally taken away. Disgusting. No no 30% pay increase. Mm. Then we took out all the abortion travel money. That got put back in. Mm. We took out all the tra- no trans, no garbage of that, none of that taken out. That got put back in. And then the worst thing that happened that was never in our bill but got put in our bill was a clean FISA reauthorization through April. And people think, oh, it's only through April. But that's not true. So if if you're an FBI agent or you're the Department of Justice, you can go to FISA and get warrants by April, but they last for a year. So mm. if you get one in March, it that baby mm. goes for a whole nother year mm. and and it's it's clean. So I like what he says. Speaker Johnson says, you know, he's he's trying to turn an aircraft carrier around. Mm-hmm. Well, the first part of turning around is stopping. Yeah, no kidding. And we need to stop Washington, yes. D.C. Right. And exactly. then tell them, no, just flat out no. Yeah. No, we love our military. Of course we're going to fund them. Take this crap out and we're happy to fund them. Like we're going to yeah. give them everything they need. We're going to give them a pay increase. We're going right. to give them everything they need. We're not going to give them COVID vaccines. We're not going to let the trannies in there. We're not paying for the ladies to go travel around and get abortions. You know, we're we're going to make sure we take care of our troops, but but we need to stop the aircraft carrier first. Right. 